Geofabrics Australasia proudly presents a series of videos that relate to the Australian standards that are used in testing of geosynthetic products and how these tests relate to practical field applications. The standard environment for this test method is an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and humidity of 65 percent plus or minus 3 percent. A minimum of five specimens are taken from each sample. The specimens are circular and have a minimum area of 2,000 millimetres squared to ensure that there is a border for clamping. The specimens are sampled so that they are widely spaced as possible over the whole surface of the sample so that their positions are symmetrically different in the longitudinal and cross directions. 100 millimetres from either edge, any visually non-representative, soiled or damaged part of the sample is discarded. If permeability is required, the thickness of each individual specimen is recorded as per AS3706.1 to 0.01 millimetres. The specimens are wet conditioned for approximately 24 hours. The temperature of the conditioning water and testing water is measured and recorded. The dissolved oxygen content of the testing water is also measured and recorded. A specimen is clamped in the apparatus whose internal diameter is 50.5 millimetres, has the means of supplying and controlling the water flow between 0 and 0 0.035 metres per second. The apparatus is inserted into the outer tank you must make sure there are no bubbles present on the surface of the specimen. The water flow is turned on and the head height difference in millimetres at five different flow rates is recorded per specimen. Once all five specimens are tested, the results are used to calculate the permittivity in reciprocal seconds, coefficient of permeability in metres per second and the flow rate in litres per metre squared per second at a head height of 100 millimetres. The five specimens are averaged to get an end typical result for that sample. The mean, standard deviation and coefficient of variation are reported. Permittivity is the flow rate of water for a known thickness of material. This is the measurable part of the test method and is recorded in reciprocal seconds. This part of the test is an index test. Permeability is a measure of how well a material will allow a liquid to pass and is related to the structure of the material. Therefore material that is created the same way, even though it may be of different thickness, will have a similar permeability. This is a theoretical number based on Darcy's law and derived from the permittivity. It is reported in metres per second. This part of the test is a performance test. Flow rate is calculated from the permittivity when head height and area are factored in. The flow rate is the volume of flow per unit area per unit time, generally under 100 millimetre waterhead. Flow rate is reported in litres per metre squared per second. This part of the test is a performance test.